Hey guys, this is our second episode of our doubleheader on this Memorial Day. Let's have fun. Oops, shoot. Hang on. Stand by, y'all. I don't know what just happened there. Of course, we don't start the timer until the game is going. You know what? I made a mistake here. I have to get the categories changed again. Oh, they're on here. Okay, they're up here. All right, here we go. Let's start the episode. Thank you, guys, and welcome to Season 6, Episode 61 of the Game of Strategy and Knowledge and Fun. It's Tic Tac Go. Glad to have you with us. We're going to have an awesome time. I can feel it. We only got nine episodes left after this one, and then we'll do the Tournament of Champions. All right. Well, Michael Mijon has won $23,000 in the last game. How you doing, Michael? All right. Well, um, we didn't get a chance to do the Beat the Dragon game the last episode. Are you ready to do the Beat the Dragon game? Let's do it. All right, let's, let's do the Beat the Dragon game. All right, Michael, as you know, there are nine numbers on the board, and the object is for you to reach $10,000 or more, or get the ticket and attack before seeing the dragon. Manage to reach $10,000 or more, or get the ticket and attack. Justin, what prize is he in for? Here they are. Put the buses on. We the best of sleep set. Adventure group of sleep set. Did the same little <laughs> Thank you, uh, Justin. And uh, Michael, if you manage to get the tick. Alright, Mike. My... What's that noise in the background? Sounds like it was a vacuum cleaner. Yeah. Anyway, uh, manage to get the tick and attack on any of your picks, Michael. Is a tw is a fifty yeah is a fi is a fifty thousand dollar bonus. Do it on your first two picks. We give you a hundred thousand dollar bonus and a shot at a new car, Michael. Good luck to you. If you're ready to go, go ahead and start picking. Let's go number six. Let's see what's in number six. Oh boy! Now, Michael, if you manage to find a tax. We'll double that bonus to $100,000, and you'll have a shot at a new car. You have to play. Which one? All right. I want to go off the list. I want to say number nine. He's going number nine, the six-nine combination. For $100,000, it's tacked behind number nine. No, it's four. Oh. It's $4,000. You're still eligible for $50,000. Stop or go? Uh, I want to keep going. With which number? Number five. Let's see what's in number five. It's tacked back there. You did it! That is a $50,000 bonus. You have won $60,000 in cash and a prize package. Let's see where that dragon was. Four. You think it was in four? Let's see. Nine. Oh. Eight. It was in number eight. Nine's already been picked. So Nine's Mike. Already been picked. So, Michael, $92,533. You're eligible for a brand new car. Which car is he playing for, Justin? All right. Hmm. I'm going to go with the tech. Well, not yet. You got to know which car you're playing for. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. $26,000. $29,000. All right. So, you find the car, uh... If you find a car, uh, Michael, your wins will be over one hundred ninety thousand dollars. And you're going with? Are you sticking with Tick? Yes, I am. 
stamps. All right, this is for a possible $190,000 total in cash. Is the car behind Tick? It is! Good job, Michael. One hundred and seventy-one thousand eight hundred and fifty-three dollars. All right, and we add your previous winnings of twenty-three thousand dollars to your total, and that gives you a grand total of one hundred ninety-four thousand eight hundred fifty-three dollars. So that means now we reset the jackpot at um, $25,000 or $50,000 if it happens on the first two picks. And now we're going to play our game of Tic-Tac-Doe. And playing him is Boris Alexander. Hey, Boris. Hi. How you doing? You ready to do Tic-Tac-Doe? All right, good luck to you. All right, so uh, let's see what the nine categories are for this game of Tic-Tac-Doe. They're the following. We have nursery rhymes, opponent's choice, abbreviations, monopoly, 2,000 pop hits, the $10,000 question, Harry Potter, double or nothing. If you choose the double or nothing category, you can choose to keep that box if you want to or risk it for another box, but be careful. If you do risk it for another box and you're wrong in that other box, you'll lose both boxes. But if you're right in the other box, you'll get two boxes. And we have U.S. Geography, okay? Michael, playing your second game, which category do you want? Uh, okay. All right. Um, let's go with... Uh, uh, which category are you going with? Nursery rhymes. He's going with nursery rhymes. Okay. Your question on nursery rhymes is this, um, um, Michael. All right. What did little Jack Horner pull out of the Christmas pie? Again, what did little Jack Horner pull out of the Christmas pie? Is it A, a peach, B, apricot, C, cherry, or D, plum? Two answers again. A, a peach. B, apricot, C, cherry, or D, plum? I believe he pulled out a peach. A peach is wrong. I'm sorry. Oh. It's a plum. A plum. Oh. All right, reshuffle. Remember that one. Let me go ahead. Get the... Uh, Pitch. All right, go ahead. Uh, okay, let's go with double or nothing, please. Going with double or nothing. Okay, two part question. Well, actually, it's not a two part question. We'll have a decision if you get this one right. Here's your question. What has no re what has no reflection, no shadow, and cannot stand the smell of garlic? Again, what has no reflection, no shadow, and cannot stand the smell of garlic? I would say. Uh Vampire is right. Now, are you going to uh, keep that box or risk it for I another? I would like to risk it. Which category? Uh, 2,000 pop hits. He's going 2,000 pop hits. Okay, this is for both boxes, putting $4,000 in the pot if you're right. Miss this one, you'll lose them both. Here it is. Okay, okay. The Spanish version of whenever, wherever is called Cerati. What does Cerati mean? Again, the Spanish version of whenever, wherever is called Cerati. What does Cerati mean? Is it A, inevitable, B, destiny, C, 
D. Luck or D. Rose? I would say that What was the choices? A, Inevitable, B, Destiny, C, Luck, or D, Rose? Ten seconds. Uh, Destiny. Destiny is wrong. I'm sorry. You lose both boxes. The answer is Luck. Luck. Okay, we shuffle it. All right, Michael. To the center uh, box. Okay, it's going to be a two-part question worth three thousand dollars, and we will give you extra time on that. Here it is. First, what does NATO stand for? What does NATO stand for? Is it A? Is it A? The Nations Testament Organization. B. The North Atlantic Testament Organization. C. The North Atlantic Treaty Organization. That's the first one, and the second one. If the police take you into custody and say they have your AKA, what do they know? Is it A, your accomplice? A, your accomplice? B, your motive? C, your alias? Or D, your address? Here's your time to think about both of them. All right, Michael, which part you want to answer first? The first one. All right. What does NATO stand for? Is it A, the nation? North Atlantic Treaty or Organization. That's right. And for the second, and, and for the center box, if the police take you into custody and say they have your AKA, what do they know? Is it A, your accomplice? B, your motive? C, your, your alias? Or D, your address? Your alias. That is right. And three thousand is in the pot. We have three thousand dollars, and we shuffle. All right. Let me get his uh, pick. Two bars left on my camera. Here we go. Alright, boy. Uh, okay. Let's try again. Which one are you going with? Double or nothing. He's going double or nothing again. Okay. Your question on double or nothing is this. Which U.S. state is home to the Great Sand Dunes National Monument? Again, which U.S. state is home to the Great Sand Dunes National Mon Monument? <laughs> Got it under the wire. That's right. Now, are we going to uh, keep that box or risk it for another? I would like to risk Hits, please. With which one? Pop hit. He, he's going with 2,000 pop hits. This is for yes. both boxes. Miss it again. You'll lose them both. Here it is. In 2007, Snoop Dogg released a song it's the dog, and it was a pioneer move in a certain sense. Why was it a pioneer move? Is it A, the first song to be released as a ringtone prior to its release as a single? B, first song ever to be sold online? C, first Snoop Dogg song in collaboration with Eminem? Or D, first song in which Snoop Dogg dropped his gangster image? I would say uh, the last, uh, the last, the last one. He's going with the last one, the first song in which Snoop Dogg dropped his gangster image. That is wrong. I'm sorry. I think so. The other one, well, the answer was the first song to be released 
as a ringtone prior to its release as a single, okay? All right, we still have 3,000 in the pot. We shuffle. All right, Michael. Well, wait. Let's go with abbreviations again. Second time in the category, your question on abbreviations. <laughs> you and your friend are watching the news on ABC. Which stands for what? Is it A, American Broadcast American Broadcasting Company? B, activity based coverage? C, American Basic Coverage? Or D, American Bureau of Channels? That would be the American Broadcasting Company. That is the right answer. Good job. We have $5,000 in the pot and we shuffle it. All right, and here we go. Let me go ahead and give it to him. Boys. Double or nothing for the block. Okay, double or nothing for the block. Your question on the double or nothing. How many openings were there in the Berlin Wall? Again, how many openings were there in the Berlin Wall? Continue, how many openings were there in the Berlin Wall? That's not my question. How many openings were there in the Berlin Wall? Oh, five, five seconds. Four. Four is wrong. The answer is two. Two. Two, okay? Five thousand is in the pot and we shuffle it. And Michael... <laughs> Double or nothing for the win. All right, Michael, it could be $7,000 in the tic-tac-toe, depending on how you want to do it. But first, you have to answer this question. Here it is. What word describes the habit of some bears for sleeping through the winter? Again, what word describes the habit of some bears sleeping through the winter? Hibernation. That is right. Now, are you going to keep that box and take the win or... Or risk it for another going for more cash? Um, I'm going to go with abbreviations. Oh, he's going to gamble. He's going to play it. Okay, he's going with abbreviations. Now, you get this question right on abbreviations, you'll have tic-tac-toe $9,000, and your wings will be at $203,853. Miss it, and you would have gave up the game, and Boris is still in it. Here it is. If I handed you a glass of only H2O, what would you be drinking? Is it A, water, B, Coke, C, berry juice, or D, or D milk? That would be water. You have Tic Tac Doe. Good job. Good job, Michael. $9,000. And your winnings are now up to $203,853. And that is your second win. Good job. And boys, uh, we'll definitely have you for another game, okay? All righty. All right, so here we go. We're going to go ahead, Michael. We're going to do the Beat the Dragon game, okay? All right. Here we go. Let's do the Beat the Dragon game. All right, Michael. Okay, there's nine numbers on the board, and the object is for you to get $10,000 or more, or get the tick and tack like before, before seeing the dragon. If you get $10,000 or more, or get the tick and attack, what prize is he in for, Justin? Hey, Art. Hmm. Dining group dinnerware. $34,286. Thank you, Justin. Now, if you manage to get the ticket and attack on any of your picks, um, 
Michael is a twenty-five thousand dollar bonus. During your first two picks, we'll double the bonus to fifty thousand dollars, and you'll have a shot and a new card. Here we go. We're gonna cover up that board. Go ahead, and start picking. Before I do, I gotta say this though: I want to be living in St. Lucia for all my life. I keep doing this. Yeah. <laughs> number three. He's going to number three. Let's see what's in number three. There is the tag. Now, if you find the tick, we'll double the bonus to $50,000 and you'll have a shot at another car. And you have to play. Number five. Drum row. <laughs> For $50,000. Is tick line number five? No, it's $1,500. You still eligible for the twenty-five thousand dollars in the prize package? Stop or go? Let's go on. Let's go with number six. Let's see what's behind number six. He wants a tick. You did it again. <laughs> you always one after. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, that's another jackpot. Thirty-five thousand dollars and the prize package. Let's see where that dragon was. Number nine? Let's see. Good. The dragon was behind number nine. So your total so far is $69,386. And you, and you have a shot at a second car. What car is it this time, Justin? I hate that number 69 right there. <laughs> <laughs> you know you love it. Woo! -hoo! $285,716. Well, Michael, I don't have to tell you how serious this is, but if you find the car, your winnings will be at over a half a million dollars in just two games. What do you think the car is? I'm going to go with Tick again. Going with Tick. Wow, to bring your winnings over a half a million dollars. Is the carbine tick? It is! You want two cars in a row? Yes. Well, Michael, in two games, you have won a total of. Eight, five, three, five hundred and fifty-eight thousand nine hundred fifty-five dollars. Oh yeah, woo! Oh All right, that's crazy. We're gonna take a commercial break and pay some bills, and when we come back, we'll do more Tic Tac Doe. Stick with us, won't you? Congratulations, Michael. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> wow, that leaderboard is definitely gonna change now. <laughs> the thing is, once it changes, it's like, there's like 